Blast Off for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Rescue Mission. The Space Force Operations Building on Earth is the control center for all space traffic. Uh, Jupiter 7, you are clear for Blast Off. This is Saturn 4-5 requesting automatic entry program. Over. Mars 173, your trajectory is good. Cut power in 15 space units. Mayday! Mayday! This is Survey 2 calling all stations. We have been hit by micrometeorites. Control out, power out. Over. Lieutenant, we have a Mayday from Survey 2 on the interstellar frequency. Get the position. I'll notify Master Control. Uh, Survey 2, this is Earth Control. Give us your position. Over. Master Control, we have a mayday on Interstellar Channel 37. Right, Lieutenant. Give me 37. Earth Control, this is Survey 2. We are in Sector 7, Subsection 390, orbiting Prometheus at 18,000. Over. Give me Sector 7 on the astro chart. There they are. They're awfully near the surface. Survey 2, this is Master Control. We have you targeted. We'll dispatch rescue ship immediately. Keep us advised of your condition and location. Over. Roger. We'll comply, and thanks. Out here. There doesn't seem to be any ships in the immediate area of Prometheus. No, sir. I guess the Space Force Station orbiting Pluto is the closest. That's about 25,000 astro leagues away from them. Good. Tell them to dispatch two ships immediately and notify the chief. Just below in the chief's office, Scott and Torres go over the flight test plans for the new dart. All the wind tunnel and vacuum chamber tests checked out, eh? That's right, Chief. We're ready for actual flight check. Pardon me, Chief. We have a mayday from the Prometheus area. We've dispatched two Space Force ships from the Pluto wing. Yeah, that must be the survey ship. And we'll be right up. You can see on the astro chart the ships from Pluto are on the way. Good, good. They sure are moving fast. Survey 2, this is Pluto 4. We have you on our scope. We'll arrive area destination at 12 space periods. Over. Pluto 4? Well, that's only a local recon ship designed for Pluto environment. Major Todd to Pluto 4. What happened to the regular space force? Come in, Pluto 4. They're all off the base. We're going out to do what we can. There are two of us, sir. This is Survey 2. We're losing orbital velocity. We are falling into Prometheus. Are you tracking us? Major, tell them to eject as soon as they register atmosphere environment. Master control to survey two. Advise you eject at buoyancy level. Please acknowledge. We read you, Major. Will do. Acceleration two Gs. Approaching ejection level. We'll contact you later by relay. I hope. Out here. The light's out. They're down. I hope they ejected in time. Even if they did, they can't last very long on that planet. Its atmosphere is poisonous gas, and the gravity is almost six times that of Earth. How about the Pluto ships? They'll be there in a few minutes. They'll be of little use on that planet. They haven't the escape velocity to get off. Pluto 4 to Master Control. We are in the area last reported by Survey 2. Pluto 4, this is Master Control. See if you can spot the capsule. It should be in section 12. But don't get in too close. You haven't the power to sustain an orbit. If you get closer than two astro leagues, you'll fall in. Roger, Master Control. We are 2.5 astro leagues out and starting search. Now that's a mean looking planet. Seems to have a heavy gaseous atmosphere. The terrain is really rugged. Hey, I've spotted them. The capsule seems to be intact, but we are not getting any signals from them. It's possible their signal isn't getting through the heavy atmosphere. If we could get in a little closer, we might be able to pick it up. That is, if they're alive. No, Pluto 4. Don't chance it. Even if they are, there's nothing you can do to help them. Professor Mace on the Evening Star calling for the chief. Put him through. I just heard that Survey 2 is down. That's right, Professor. Chief, Scott, Crystal's on that ship. Oh, no! Crystal is one of the crew on Survey 2. How can they survive on the desolate planet Prometheus? Don't miss the next exciting episode with Scott McCloud, Space Angel! Last 
next stop for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Rescue Mission. Last time, a Mayday call was received from the rocket ship Survey 2. The ship was orbiting the planet Prometheus with its controls out and power out. The crew had to eject and land on the desolate, uninhabited planet. Professor Mace had just informed them that Crystal was on that ship. That's right, Chief. Survey 2 was launched from the Evening Star. Professor, I thought she was on the Evening Star with you. Survey 2's regular navigator wasn't feeling well, and Crystal asked to take his place. Who else was on that ship? Captain Rogers and Flight Engineer Bentley. We'll get back to you, Professor Mace. Pluto 4 is reporting on them now. You can tune in interstellar frequency and get the reports. Master Control, this is Pluto 4. We are getting a signal from them. They are all alive. Landing not too severe. Environment registers 20 atmospheres. Oxygen content negligible. Mostly heavy gases. Get the exact gravity reading. Pluto 4, can you give us an exact gravity reading? Roger, Master Control. Gravity reads 5.5 Gs. Well, five and a half times that of Earth. How about a Jupiter ship? Their escape velocity is great enough, and a ship could be there in 30 space periods. It wouldn't work, Taurus. Remember, they need additional boosters to get off Jupiter, and there are no boosters on Prometheus. Chief, Dart 2 could get in and out of there. We have 10 million pounds of thrust and very little weight. There are lots of holes in that plan. The Dart 2 hasn't been flight tested yet. Even if you got there in 50 space periods, you could only bring out one at a time. No, uh, you'd never make it. And if the Dart didn't work, we'd lose another man. A Jupiter ship could drop the oxygen they need. That would give us the extra time. Hmm, might work. Well, they'd have to drop in a man in a motorized suit to hook it up. Remember, gravity's so strong, the crew can hardly move. Space Force from Neptune can do that. Aye, O'Hara's out there. He's the man for you. How about it, Chief? This is the Chief. Yes, sir. Call out Dart 2 and load it in the Starduster, ready for testing. Immediately. Starduster to control. Dispensing countdown. Clear me for blast off. Uh, Roger, Starduster. You are clear for immediate blast off. Here we go, Taurus. All set, Skipper. Blast away. Starduster to master control. We're off and tracking. Almost at the same time the Starduster breaks into space, a needle-like ship with a great booster blasts off from Jupiter. In their bomb bay, they carry the life-giving oxygen for the downed space crew on Prometheus. And from a space station orbiting Neptune, a Space Force ship blasts off for the same destination. In its bomb bay, it carries a man in a motorized spacesuit, ready for the drop. Master Control, this is Space Force 7. We are off and tracking. Roger, Space Force 7. We're tracking you. Control to Pluto 4. Relay message to Survey 2. Oxygen drop and rescue ships en route. ETA, 40 space periods. Please acknowledge. Roger, Master Control. We'll relay message. They'll be mighty happy to hear it. Professor Mace on the Evening Star again. Right. Chief. I've been observing the planet Prometheus. Yes, Professor. There's a meteor cloud in orbit around that planet. That's what hit Survey 2. What's its orbit time? It comes around every four space periods. Pluto 2 has been there almost that long now. Thanks, Professor. Tell Pluto 4 to get out of there. Master Control to Pluto 4. Master Control to Pluto 4. Come in, Pluto 4. There's a meteor shower due at any minute. Come in, Pluto 4. They're fading out. Come in, Pluto 4. Come in, Pluto 4. A meteor shower. Did the message get through to Pluto 4? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angel.
Blast off for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Rescue Mission. Last time, Crystal and the crew of the Survey 2 ejected and landed on Prometheus. They had precious little oxygen and could hardly move because of the gravity, which was five and a half times that of Earth's. Scott McCloud's new ship, the untested Dart II, was the only ship powerful enough to escape from this gravity. Scott and Taurus blasted off in the Starduster with the Dart II aboard. Another ship blasted off from Jupiter with oxygen for the survivors. And still another ship blasted off from Neptune with Captain O'Hara aboard in a motorized space suit. Master Control to Pluto 4. Come in, please. Control's out. Transmitter's gone. No use fighting it, Vic. We're ejecting. Well, let's go. Pluto 5 calling Master Control. Orbiting meteor storm directly below us. Pluto 4 is out and falling. I repeat, meteor storm orbiting below us. Pluto 4 is out and falling. Crew has ejected. I read you, Pluto. Can you accomplish pickup? Over. Shouldn't have any trouble. Meteor storm is tailing out. Good. Then return to your base. The other rescue units will take it from there. Okay, Chief. Out here. Major, alert the rescue units on that orbiting meteorite storm. They're to check it out with Professor Mace. Will do, Chief. All units moving in on schedule, Chief. Let's hope this works. We get the message, Professor. We are approaching target now. The meteor cloud is in elliptical orbit. It will sweep through target sector again in four periods. We have just time to make the drop. Going into orbit. Out here. Space Force 7 calling Survey 2. We are on search. Give us a signal. I repeat, we are on search. Give us a signal. Give us a signal. Survey 2 to Space Force 7. We're... We're sure glad you're here. Hey, how are you doing down there? Oh, could be better. Oxygen low and, and we can hardly move in this gravity. Well, hang on. Someone will be down soon to give you a hand. You, you better hurry. The other two are, are out, I think. Here's our signal. Yeah, got a fix on them. Correcting angle of approach. All set, O'Hara? I'll set, Mac. As ready as I'll ever be. Let's lay this egg and hope it hatches. Target coming up. Stand by for retro. On target. Stand by for drop in five seconds. Four, three, two, drop. So far, so good. Coming in right on target. Landing okay, Mac. Better check on that oxygen freighter. Will do, O'Hara. Out here. Space Force 7 calling Jupiter Big Shot. Space Force 7, this is Big Shot. Over. Man drop successful. You're next. Please give us your ETA. Approaching target at full acceleration, ETA, five periods. And that'll be a tight schedule. Meteor cloud due here in six periods. Better hold it. Come in, O'Hara, what's up? Situation desperate down here. Can't arouse anyone. Oxygen rating nil. Jupiter big shot due in five periods. Coming in under full power. Ah, uh, that'll be too late. I'll hook in my spare tank. What'll you do for oxygen, O'Hara? Well, if I run out, I'll hold my breath. Out here. Space Force 7 to Jupiter Big Shot. Come in, Space Force. Situation desperate down below. Make ready to drop oxygen on orbit approach. Zero in on Survey 2 signal. Okay, okay, Space Force. Will do. Will the Jupiter ship be able to drop the oxygen in time? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angel.
Blast off for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Rescue Mission. You remember last time, the rescue units made contact with Crystal and the crew of the Survey 2 downed on the hostile planet Prometheus. Captain O'Hara, in a motorized spacesuit, which enabled him to move in the heavy gravity, was dropped from the Space Force ship. The situation was desperate. O'Hara hooked up his spare oxygen tank, and Jupiter Big Shot made ready to drop the precious life-giving oxygen in a race against the meteor shower, which was due at any moment. We'll only have time for one pass before that meteor shower comes. We'll skip into the atmosphere and make the drop. Good luck, Big Shot. See you topside. Here it comes, O'Hara, right on your tin head. Chute set to open at 10,000 feet. Here they come. Hmm, I can taste that oxygen already. Oh, no! The entry friction exploded the tanks. Space Force 7. What's going on out there? Was the drop good? Space Force 7 to Master Control, negative, Chief. The tanks exploded in the heavy atmosphere. How about Big Shot? He's here and OK. Roger, Master Control. As soon as we cool off, we'll try another drop. We will go in slower and lower. Do you have time? That asteroid cloud is due again any minute. We'll have to. O'Hara says situation desperate. OK, Big Shot. The decision is yours. Roger, Master Control. Starting run. Stand by for drop. Come on, shoots. Open. Oh, the drop's good. It won't be long now, kids. I'll get the tanks and be right back. Thank goodness. Best news I've ever heard. Beautiful drop. Thanks, Big Shot. Don't mention it, O'Hara. It's a pleasure to give you the air. Come on, Big Shot. Asteroid cloud coming up fast. We're moving upstairs till it blows over. Roger, Space Force. We're coming. Can't miss the asteroid cloud, though. We just have to plow through it and hope the shielding holds. So far, so good. Just like flying through a hailstorm, breaking through. No damage to ship. Good shoe, Big Shot. That's no spaceship, that's a bulldozer. How's O'Hara doing down below? Uh, this baby should solve our breathing problems for quite a spell. Just in time. The oxygen reading is down to zero. I uh, know, there you are. All the comforts of home. Thanks, O'Hara. When we get out of here, remind us we owe you a party. Pinned down by five and a half Gs isn't much fun. I'll be glad when this is over. Hey, upstairs. Hookups made. Now all we need is our taxi. Great, O'Hara. I'll see if I can get an ETA on the Starduster. Master Control, this is Space Force 7. Over. Go ahead, Space Force 7. Uh, was the drop successful? Roger, Master Control. Drop successful. Survey crew OK. When is the Starduster due here? Over. Starduster is due in one space period. You can contact them direct on this channel. Roger, Master Control. Out here. Starduster, this is Space Force 7. Space Force 7, this is the Starduster. We've been monitoring you and Big Shot. Well done on your operation. We'll be in your area in one space period. Great, Scott. I guess it's up to you from here on. Out here. We ought to have them all safe aboard in another two space periods. I hope so, Taurus. If Dark 2 hangs together. Remember, she's never been flight tested. A flight test that means life or death to those trapped on the hostile planet. Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angel. Blast off for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud. 
Space Angel in the story of The Rescue Mission. Last time, O'Hara hooked up the oxygen tanks dropped by the Jupiter ship to the escape capsule where Crystal and the crew lay unconscious. Scott and Torres, meanwhile, readied the new dart in an attempt to pick them up from the heavy planet. Space Force 7 and Big Shot, we're approaching rendezvous. Our conditions down below, Mac. Just talk to O'Hara. Crew's okay. He's hooked up the oxygen that Big Shot dropped. Big Shot? What was your entry speed? I had to maintain about 8,400 to keep from falling in, Scott. But it was mighty hot, even with our shielding. Coming out, we had everything open but the toolbox and just barely made it. Hope your landing ship has plenty of power. I, uh, I, I think it has. We'll find out soon. Okay, Taurus. Take the controls and stand by to launch the dart. All set, Taurus. Pre-flight checkout, okay. Hi, Skipper. Lower away. Good luck, Skipper. Skipper. Just great so far, Taurus. But this is probably the toughest flight test the ship ever had. Coming in, O'Hara. What's the condition of the surface? Now well, you're doing fine, Scott. Head straight for the sphere. really something. I see you've got a package for me, O'Hara. Ah, that I have. And a pretty one, too. But she's sure heavy. Guess she ought to go on a diet. O'Hara, after what you've done, you could say anything about me you like, and I wouldn't get mad at you. Well, now, if this little ship has enough power to get us all out of here, we'll just hold you to that bargain, Chris. Be back soon, O'Hara. All right. You still got two more packages, you know. And me, don't forget me. Can we make it, Scott? We'll soon find out, Chris. Hang on. Hey, anybody upstairs? The darts disappeared in the overcast. Can you see them from up there? O'Hara, oh, this is Taurus. I can't see them. You sure that it didn't burn? You don't know, Taurus. The ship was awful hot. I see them, I see them. They just broke through. Dark to start, Esther. Stand by for pickup. Aye, aye, Skipper. Have you got Chris? She's fine. Aren't you, Chris? Chris? Oh, yes. I was just enjoying being able to move again. Bombay open. Stand by for hookup. Three more times, the Dark Two proves its capability as it returns through the poisonous atmosphere where O'Hara, in his motorized suit, loads the precious cargo, and the dart again struggles against the heavy gravity into space where the Stardust awaits. And finally, the big Irishman himself is picked up and carried into the safety of space and the Stardustor. Master Control, this is the Stardustor. You go ahead, Scott. Rescue mission completed, Chief. Survey's crew are all okay. Notify Professor Mace, would you? Right, Scott. Starduster, Big Shot, and Space Force 7 return to base. All right, Chief. Starduster, returning to base. Big Shot, returning to Jupiter. Space Force 7, returning to Neptune. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, Taurus. Get me out of here. What's the matter, O'Hara? You've got motors. Get yourself out. Uh, well, my batteries are dead. I think we ought to leave him in there, Taurus. No, Crystal. You promised to be good if we got you off that planet. Aye, Chris. Maybe when we get back to the base, we can find him a can opener. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of the rescue mission. Don't miss the next exciting adventure of Space Angels.